I mean, I think Ann Arbor is my favorite place on earth. The wonderful blend of nature with urban living and the life that comes with that. I've lived in many places now and I've yeah. never found anything quite like that. My name is Sakib Lahi. I grew up in Livonia, Michigan, and I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering at Michigan. Then I did my master's and then PhD in biomedical engineering still at Michigan. I think that mechanical engineering is like the best major. I, and one of the reasons I am very, very glad that I majored in it is that it's super versatile. You can take your skills as a mechanical engineer, you can like literally do anything, but getting the master's in biomedical engineering helped me learn how to apply those skills to a new field. One of my early exposures to engineering was through learning about some biomedical device that I thought was cool. So yeah. I definitely find yeah. the field applicable and like really interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about like your current, your current work and you know what you do? I joined the medical device company BD, which stands for Beckton Dickinson. It's one of the largest medical device companies in the world and uh, joined it in a rotational program uh, for leadership development. My current project is in uh, the field of tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. And that, that sounds really fancy. So I'll just I'll use some examples of like the kind of things that, that we do in order to explain that. So a product that we already have on the market is very commonly used is the hernia mesh. So we have a polymer um, and it's bioresorbable. And when you have a hernia, which is like if uh, any place where you basically develop kind of a hole in your abdominal wall and the organs are, are like not contained within the body anymore and you need to surgically repair that, they put this mesh in there and the mesh is made of a polymer that uh, helps the it's like an internal bandage. It like helps the tissue heal over that mesh. And um, eventually what's special about our mesh is that it, it dissolves away and it just becomes a, like water in another molecule. So a lot of the work that I do is um, looking at that technology and figuring out how to make it work, designing animal studies. I work a lot with non-engineers too. And I think that's really important to understand when you're in, in industry, um, there's a perception that engineers just kind of work with other engineers and that that is very, very far from the truth. Actually, um, engineers are very involved in, in the business side of things and the regulatory side of things when it comes to the medical device industry um, and all these, everything that I named marketing people to like being able to talk to customers and understand what the customer needs and turning that into engineering requirements. These are all activities that take up a big part of my day, and it's done in collaboration with people who do not have engineering degrees. Um, right. So you got you have to work with with those people too, and be able to talk in their language, and be able to help them understand our language too. Definitely. And what um what are some of the challenges, or I guess what's tedious about the work? Good question. So, um. Man, probably no matter where you work, there's always, especially if you work in big companies, there's a lot of training requirements, a lot of like yeah. policy stuff that you have. It takes up a lot of time. Like you got to get online and do like read all the policies that your company has and be up to speed on them. And that's like, it's boring as hell. Like it's, it's a really, really boring part of your job and it feels like a waste of time, but it's also really important because that's a compliance issue. And if you get audited by the FDA, like... They check up on that. They make sure everybody's up to speed on what all the company policies are. I try to get the most tedious aspects of my job, parts of my job, and try to like knock them out in like a set aside amount of time so that I'm, it's not bleeding over into like the more interesting and important parts of my job. I'm still waiting for results. What memories do you have? And this could be both in engineering or just like campus life, but what are some of the highlights or memories you have from Michigan? I can definitely tell you my favorite one. SWE used to have a competition called Mr. Engineer. And yeah. they, uh, I, I don't know what they call it anymore, but they realized that that's not very inclusive to have like a competition just for men. <laughs> so... Sock it. <laughs> but I won Mr. Engineer in 2010. Um, and I was repre I was representing the the Muslim Engineering Student Association, um, 
and it was just like so fun. Sing along with me so loud that down on Central Campus, they're gonna be able to tell that tonight North Campus is the place to be. <laughs> I did a talent performance singing. You know that do a diddy diddy dum diddy do song, like '60s song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, I did a parody of that, but about pulling an all-nighter in order to like cram for an exam. I just realized it's we don't do it. It's not called Mr. Engineer. We have the Engineering Games now, which Sweet Host, and I, it sounds like it's the same thing. So, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, and it was really fun, and it was funny, and uh, and I won, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> made, it, made it even more fun. What advice would you give uh, students currently um, at Michigan in terms of like, I guess specifically mechanical engineers in terms of what to focus on and what to pay attention to? I mean, I know this is pretty cliched. You probably hear it in all your interviews, but um, getting uh, getting leadership experience is huge. I mean, when I recruit, I hardly look at the GPA, honestly. I just make sure that it's like over whatever the company's minimum is. Right. And I look more at uh, what are the experiences that that student has. So um, did they do uh, internships and co-ops? Did they get involved in like research and labs and stuff? And uh, aside from the technical stuff like that, um, the leadership in, in student clubs, like picking uh, an officer, I, f I feel like that's like a bar that it's like, okay, they were doing something leadership, like within the organization, yeah. not just like going to the free meetings to get pizza and whatnot, <laughs> and then listing themselves as a member, which, I um, mean, unfortunately, a lot of people do. I'll also mention a regret that I had. If you have the opportunity to study abroad or do anything international, um, I would I would highly encourage that, which I I did not do, uh, but my wife did, and she did it a lot. Actually, she went to like three different countries, and um, I see what she gained from it, and I'm like, I really missed an opportunity there. What would your college self think about your current self? Hmm, wonderful question. That's uh, something I've never thought about before. There wasn't any period in my life, I will say from high school till now, where I would have been able to predict what I will, what I will be doing three years forward from any given moment within that 18 year period. If you were to tell my undergraduate self that I would be married to a non-Muslim and not a mechanical engineer and uh, living in Chicago after having lived in Texas and North Carolina, it, it would just been mind blowing to me. I, I wouldn't have been able to comprehend it up and like, what the heck happened? Be open minded to opportunities that come along um, because you never know where things are going to lead. And uh, as you can see, I mean, even in our current situation of where we are in this in country or as a world when it comes to COVID-19, like you got to be adaptable if you want to survive. Like you, you okay. can't you can't just keep doing the same thing and stick to your original plan just because that's your plan. That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I would love to connect at some point when <laughs> this blows over. Yeah, no problem. It's 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 a pleasure. I love uh, giving back to the college of engineering in terms of my my time and just lending mentorship experience, whatever. Well, Great talking to you guys. Yeah, good luck, Jordan. Thank you. See you too. <laughs> <laughs>